In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a wooden toy robot. Hey guys, welcome back to David's DIY Reviews. On this channel, we do a lot of tool reviews, tool tutorials, and little DIY woodworking project builds like this wooden robot. It's a pretty cool build. It's really easy. It takes about an hour. I'm going to show you how to do it. All that coming up. And also guys, some dimensions and instructions will be in the description below. Well, actually all the dimensions and some instructions. So let's get into the build. So the first thing you want to do is cut out the pieces. The first thing I'm going to cut out is the body. The material I'm using is pine. It's, it's one by one and seven eighths basically. You can use any material, any size, whatever kind of ratio you want the different body parts to be. So my body is going to be three inches, so we're going to start laying everything out. We'll mark it, we'll draw lines across, we'll start cutting out the pieces, and we'll be on our way. So we'll go ahead and uh, cut that piece out, and we'll mark our next pieces and keep moving along here. So I'm going to make the head on mine uh, an inch and a half. And like I said earlier, all the dimensions and some instructions will be in the, in the uh, description below, so you guys can have a look down there. If you know, if you forget anything, or you're watching, or you, or you miss, or you want to change your dimensions up and see what I did. So go ahead and cut that off now. So we'll go ahead and get the uh, headpiece cut off. And just be careful when you're cutting. Make sure to slow down at the end so it doesn't uh, chip or kind of break off. You get a nice clean cut because this will be a nice kind of clean looking toy. You want it to look good. I'm going to make the arms on mine uh, one inch. They're going to kind of hang down at the side. So we'll mark one at a time. If you mark both, of course, uh, you're going to lose a little bit of length with the curve of the saw. So we'll mark one, we'll cut it, and, we'll cut, and then we'll cut the other one. So I'm going to make the feet on mine one inch as well. They're going to kind of sit right underneath it. Uh, you can change up the feet and the, well, the arm and leg dimensions to whatever you want. I like an inch on these. It looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these now. So I'll just mark my uh, second leg or foot. Cut that. And we'll be ready to start drilling. And I'll show you how that works in just a second. So we'll go ahead and cut out this last foot. And if, if using hand tools and saws is something that you struggle with, go ahead and check out the YouTube card in the video. It's got a really, a lot of great content in there on how to use hand tools, woodworking hand tools. It's gonna really help you a lot along the way with projects like this. So now we've got all our pieces cut out. We've got the feet, we've got the body, the arms, and the head, and they're just cut rough. So now I'm gonna go ahead and give these all a little sand before we do anything else, because it's gonna be a lot easier to sand it now than it is to sand it later. So we'll go ahead and do that now, actually, before we start drilling. So I'm just finishing sanding up the body right now, just getting the edges all really nice, because like I say, that's gonna be a lot harder to do once it's together. And then we'll start uh, drilling. Let's do that now. So this is how it's going to look and to attach it together with the twine that you're going to use or whatever, you know, rope or string or whatever it is you're going to use. We're going to drill a hole straight through the center that's going to attach the head to the body. Then we're going to drill, drill two holes down the sides to attach the feet. And we're going to drill a hole across this way to attach the arms. But that hole, we're going to have to drill slightly offset so that it does not intersect with the hole going down through the middle to hold the head. So we'll go ahead and lay out the hole that's going to drill straight through the body. Now you're just going to have to find center and mark it. So this piece is um, an inch and seven eighths wide. So I'm just going to take my ruler, put it on here like this, and then just move it a sixteenth over and mark it. And that's going to give me center because the eight, half the eighth is the sixteenth. And then it's a solid inch this way, so we'll just do half. And that's where we're going to drill our hole. So before we drill our hole, we're going to want to make the, the drill bit choice. We're going to want a drill bit that's just slightly bigger than whatever it is that you're going to use to hold them together. I'm going to use this twine here. So I've got a drill bit here. It, it's really worn out. I'm not actually sure what size the, the drill bit is, but it's just slightly bigger, and that's going to allow the twine to go through the hole. So I'll go ahead and start drilling this now. Um, if you had a drill press, that would be ideal. I'm just going to go ahead and use a hand drill 
and uh, really take my time to get it straight and centered. But uh, getting it straight, that's really going to be one of the most important things that uh, you do in this project. So we'll go ahead and take your time and drill these holes. The next thing you want to do before you go any further is make sure you can actually fit the twine down through the hole. And actually it kind of looks like mine goes in, but it's going to be a little difficult. So I'm actually going to go a couple drill sizes up and then we'll continue on. So after drilling it a bit bigger, you can see that the, uh, the twine kind of goes in there really nice. That's what you're going to want. It's going to make it just a nightmare if you can't get that through there. So you're going to want it to go through nice and easy so you can tie the knot at the other end. We'll probably countersink the end with the knot as well so the knot sits down in the wood a little bit. That's going to make it nice and smooth. So we've got the, the hole in the body drilled out. And you can go ahead and drill the hole through the head. And then the arms and the legs, you kind of want to drill... Just how, you know, if you want them up a bit, down a bit, however you want it, you can kind of adjust the holes to where you want them. The important one, though, is going to be where the arms hold on. The arms are going to go on the side like this with the head on the top. And like I said before, the hole that, that drills through that holds the arm, you don't want it to intersect with the hole that holds the head on because otherwise the twine, you're not going to be able to get it through. It's going to hit. So we're going to offset that hole that goes through. It's going to drill through just in the back a little bit. So the arms, and then we'll, we'll offset the hole through the arm so that it still ends up kind of even. I'll show you what I mean. So where I'm going to drill that hole through for the arms, I'm just going to kind of eyeball it because it's, you know, to measure this, it, I don't really need to. I'm just going to kind of eyeball where I want that to go through. About right there, we're going to drill that straight through. So now we've got the hole going through for the head, and now we've got the hole going through that the arms are going to attach onto. And what I meant by offsetting the hole in the arm, if we drilled the hole in the arm center, it's going to make the arm sit offset. So what we're going to do is we're going to drill the hole in the arm slightly to the back so it still sits against the body kind of flat like that. So if you hold the arm on the side of the body where the side's flush, you can again, you can kind of eyeball it where you want it. You just kind of follow that hole out, and we'll just kind of eyeball it on the side here, and we'll drill that through. You could measure all this stuff and get it just perfect for, for a little quick project like this. You can just eyeball a lot of the drilling and the measurements. It's not super important. So we'll go ahead and we'll uh, drill out that arm, the offset hole. And if you remember, I actually did measure center to get the hole through the body, but instead of measuring the center of the head, I'm just going to line it up and mark it because if, for whatever reason, oops, I happen to mismeasure the center on there, then the head's going to be off center. So I'll just, once again, line that up, make my mark, and I'll drill through that head. So now we've got the arms drilled, the body drilled, it goes like this actually, the head drilled, so we want to drill the feet. So... For that, we're going to make two more holes going down through the body, but again, offset forward so they don't intersect with this hole or this hole. It's getting a little complicated, but it's not too bad. And then the feet will go on the bottom. And remember, all the instructions and dimensions will be in the description below if you guys are having any trouble. Some of these holes kind of start to get confusing after a while, but it's not too bad. And then you'll be able to see where your hole that you drilled for the feet comes out the bottom. And you'll just kind of line your feet up to where you want them. And then you'll go ahead and kind of roughly mark on the front where you want that. And then we're going to mark, because it comes out the top, we're going to put it in the top of the foot. And then it's going to hold it flat and the whole robot toy will just sit nice and flat like that. So we'll just uh, go ahead and drill our last hole in the foot and then we'll do that countersinking I was talking about. So what I meant by countersinking the holes is I'm going to take a bigger size drill bit and drill in the, the top of the head and in the sides of the arms and bottoms of the feet so that when the rope comes through or twine 
it sits down recessed in. I'm going to use this same size drill bit for the eyes actually. We'll go ahead and do that now. So for the eyes, we're actually going to measure to make sure they're nice and centered. So this was 1 to 7 8. So like I say, we'll just notch my wheel rear back a 16 of an inch. And I'm just going to mark 3 quarters in from each side. And I think that's where I'm going to do them. So we'll go ahead and drill the eyes. We're not going to drill all the way through. We're just going to kind of drill what would be like a countersink hole in. And that's going to be enough to kind of make them pop, make them look good. Just like that. I think I'm going to actually opt out of countersinking the holes because I don't have a lot of material to work with on some of these spots. And so I'm just going to start putting the, uh, the twine through, tying the knots, and I'll show you how that works right now. So we'll start with the head going onto the body. If you just kind of lick the twine, get it a little bit wet, it might uh, go through that hole a little bit better. Sometimes too you can get like a, a rod and you can use that to push it through. So I'm just going to kind of work at this now. So you just start pulling it through, you tie a knot at the bottom, you tie a knot at the top, and then we'll put the arms and the legs on. So this is the body and the head. So I've got the knot on the bottom tied. And the gap you want to leave is kind of enough, enough gap that it's going to kind of rock like this. But you don't want so much of a gap that the head's just going to like fall off the sides. You want it just kind of a little bit of a gap like that. And that's going to make it just kind of rock around. It's going to look nice. So I've got the, the head on there. We'll go ahead and do the arms now. And when you want to put the arms through, you just kind of turn the head sideways. And you can tie that knot there. And the same thing with the feet. You kind of just want a, a small gap so that the foot stays fairly snug. It's not moving around too much, but it moves around a little bit, you know, kind of however you want it to work. So I'm just getting the, uh, the second foot through here now, and then we'll uh, move on to the arms. So I've got the feet on here, the head. Now um, the arms is going to be one piece of string, so you kind of have to, you know, get one side where you like it and then tie the other without snugging them both up. Uh, you can always kind of stick something in between if you want to, but you know, do what you got to do to get those two arms at a nice spacing. So I'm just tying up the last uh, arm now, and if you find your knots are kind of pulling through, all you do is you just do a double knot, that's it. You just tie another knot, and that's going to keep it from, uh, from pulling through. And then uh, all you do is you just cut off the excess on the ends. And then there you go, you've got yourself a nice, cute little uh, wooden toy robot. And this one was a lot of fun, guys. This little wooden DIY uh, kind of woodworking robot, they're pretty cool. You can make it for yourself, make it for a gift, make it for your kids. You can make it with your kids. You can learn a lot doing this. And don't forget to check out my channel, David's DIY Reviews, weekly videos. Definitely subscribe so you don't miss any great content. You're going to love it. See you in the next video.